and uh, residents affected by flood in uh, Kogi state have called on the federal government to provide them with emergency relief and aid, of course, uh, shelter. Plus, TV Africa visited uh, flood-affected areas in uh, central Lokoja, northern Lokoja, and uh, Kotun Cafe local government area to assess the level of damage caused by the floods. Our correspondent, Amadin Ui, reports. Parts of central Lokoja. The floodwaters have overtaken the streets following a rise of waters from the river Niger. Northern Lokoja. Houses and businesses also have not escaped the flooding. Also, a visit to Koton Cafe local government area. Houses, shops, and farmlands also submerged by the rampage in floodwaters. Residents say they have lost property worth millions of naira. Uh, they live for this market, both my brother, but the two have will make me run now. This was every year, awala, awala. This one don't come over power us. My own particularly, I can claim, but I have a farm inside there, down here. All of them they are inside water right now. If I claim, it's over one point something million naira. We will see flood coming at the beginning of this month. It for sure, it took over our house. We ran away all of every, all, everything we are using there, soup. All people living inside there, they have evacuated. Everything has been inside water. My house is there, one, two, three, four, number fifth. It's same contain, eight rooms and a bathroom and toilet. Both my fence, it cover all. You cannot even know that building is there again. I have lost the good of two, 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 two million plus. To be serious speaking, I've lost about two, 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 two million plus. When I come back to to prayer, I saw snake that ran inside my house. So now all of us is the outside. We no see anywhere where we go where we go living. Some of them say the floods have brought untold hardship on them and their families. Day in day out we remain here. We sleep by the roadside here. Then in the morning when we observe our prayer, we stay here till evening. But we operate on oh. 101. That is when we take in the morning, we don't have in the afternoon until the evening. Sometimes in the evening is very hard. I'm standing at Koton Karfe local government. One of the local governments partly overtaken by floodwaters in Kogi state. Now, if you look behind me, you see a street which has also been overtaken by water. Now, this is the reality for many of the residents in this community. Many of them have lost their homes, they have lost their businesses, and are in that need of emergency relief from government. I need assistance because I have my children, including my wife, and senior sister to my wife. We're all there and we're packed inside town now. We are managing, no food. I want government to help because we suffer everything now. No food, nothing, nothing, nothing for us. Please. I beg, may the tech government, if they want to help people of market, they should not send message. May we not come one on one, individual person, where your room? I beg, this is my room. Any two way government won't compensate. May they give us, because if they say local government, know they reach our hand. If anybody know they talk, me, I allow you to go talk. The Kogi state government, however, shows it to do all it can to reduce their suffering. We want to assure the good people of Kogi State and Nigerians that whilst we may not be able to stop the flooding from coming, we would prevent as many lives as possible from going with the menace of flooding. That is our focus. That is our target. That is what we will achieve by the grace of God. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.